Hello friends, I'm Brian Farr, president and founder of Historic Route 20. We're here in our hometown of Chester, Massachusetts, right on Route 20 and the Jacobs Ladder Scenic Byway. A lot of you have been asking some questions over the past week or so since we made a post about how we're doing, what's going on, and all those sorts of questions. And well, I'd like to answer them here in this video, share a few things with you. So here we are in beautiful Chester on a beautiful sunny day. This here is our future home. This was Carm's restaurant and Charlie's garage for many, many years. It was actually dates to the 1800s in the back. The facade was put on in 1924 and the Pegasus sign is still going to remain. We have some friends in town who actually purchased the building last year and they were gracious enough to include us for space in their new project. The restaurant's going to be opening up soon. That's all done with private funding, their own personal funding. We have nothing really to do with that whatsoever. But here, you can see behind me, big open space here, this window. This is where our future visitor center is going to be, right here on beautiful Route 20. Nice picture window going in, new facade. Um, there's gonna be a deck out here uh, for people to sit on. One of the most important things this location is going to have is public restrooms. Yes, folks. Um, sometimes that seems a little bit um, crazy to think about, but there is a stretch of highway here in Western Massachusetts that goes about 30 miles between Lee and Westfield where you cannot find a public restroom to use. There's a restaurant or two, but again, not public that you can just stop. Use a restroom, come get some information. Um, about Historic Route 20, what to see and do in this Hilltown area of Western Massachusetts. And this location is going to be for that. We were included in a five-year state bond bill to get funding for this uh, restoration of our section of the visitor center. Well, that didn't happen this year, but um, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Uh, it can happen almost any time, but it's we're kind of on hold and that's kind of the frustrating part, especially when you're dealing with grants. We could be eligible next year or two years from now, or we just don't know that answer to that question right now. And that's where we're coming to you for some help. So we would really love to be in our space, in our home, as the work is actually progressing. And we're hoping maybe you can help us out with this. Our rent for this location is approximately, I think $600 a month. And so we would like to give a good faith effort of one year just to say we can hopefully get some money and funding in by that year. But so one year's rent is $7,200. Here's a peek inside the space. We're gonna go back all the way back to the, where the ceiling actually ends back there. So we're gonna have a very large space, um, counter, videos, bathrooms. If you'd like to see what we're actually up against also, I know a lot of people keep saying, so what's taking so long with a few things? Well, take a look at our office, come on inside. Things are working, which is great. You always have to say progress is good. Here's the inside of the building. Walls are torn down. It is dusty. This is the old diner. This isn't gonna be our part. But this is our office space right now. Everything has been pushed from a central room over into this corner. It's in boxes. Um, we were sitting over here at this counter space. Um, this isn't even going to be our space. This was just temporary, but that's what we're using. So over the past few weeks, they've been really doing some work in the space here. And of course, all our stuff had to be pushed away. So it's getting really difficult to actually work in here. And we really do apologize that there's the bathroom space here, kitchen space, and again, this is our space over here. We're asking you if you would be kind enough to actually help us out. Um, a few dollars here or there, or even be even more generous. Um, we're gonna have some tiers and even corporate donations, we hope, to help us get into our space. It's gonna take a little bit longer than we actually thought, and it's actually a blessing on our part because things are a little bit slower. Whatever you might be able to give, please consider um, helping us out. This is all going to be going for our nonprofit visitor center. I thank you very much. There's gonna be links, descriptions, everything about this project. I thank you very, very much for making this happen.